make sure we record this for everyone. Hello, Regent. Hello, friends. Hello. It's so nice. If you have the ability to put your camera on, except Eric, go ahead and put it on. Just kidding, Eric. I'm just kidding. You can turn your camera on if you want. I just, your name was right there. So I'm picking on you. <laughs> we have some really cool content for you guys today. We have some extra posts in there, a little bit more information. Raise your hand if you are a part of the Growth Call Facebook group. Is everybody here in there? Does anybody need the link? Because I'm going to pop the link in. And don't forget that you, if you miss us, we'll be sad. We'll be so sad. But you can always replay this or the growth call and action tech part after on the YouTubies. It's it's officially called the YouTubies, just like it's the Googlies now, right, Tiffany? It's the Googlies. Okay. <laughs> All right, girls, what we got, Tiffany, today? All right. So we're going to continue on with what we've been doing, where we're just interviewing some of the people on the KW New England team so we can get to know them better. And Brooke, you're up. I'm up. You're up. So <sighs> most of us know Brooke as regional tech trainer, content creator. But there's this duck thing that you do that I would love to learn a little bit more about. Oh, my Jeeps. Anybody yeah. here have a Jeep? If you do, put it in, put it in the chat. So if you're on my Facebook, you've probably seen just how obsessed my six-year-old is with our Jeep. It's actually because of Jen Bovey, we had to buy one. Um, we are in the Coastal Cruiser one weekend, took hope for a little ride in it. And now all of a sudden, I'm a Jeep owner. She uses the ducks from the Duck Duck Jeep as a way to spread kindness in our community. So building from that, I actually created a part of my website. Um, and I'm, yes, would you like to know what the name of my Jeep is? <laughs> it's so dirty, Tiffany. Go for it. <laughs> Control Alt Jeep. <laughs> Control Alt Jeep. Just if you Control missed it through the storms. It's it's, the right there. Yep. it's so fun and it's so it's our way of spreading just some kindness bringing some uh attention back to our kw charities we post on there in goodwill so if you see me out and about i usually have about 300 ducks with me every day because she likes to give about 35 out a day it's an expensive habit but it's a great way for us to give our names out right and talk about what we do in a way that is not threatening, right? Nowhere on that page am I saying, come to KW, buy with KW, sell, invest, you know, like all these things. So it's a great way to get in front of people in a different um, networking group. So we are enjoying it. We are six months into our Jeep journey. That is awesome. So Brooke, what is one thing that no one on this call knows about you? That's a hard question. I know it is because I overshare. <laughs> we're talking between extrovert and introvert. Brooke is very much the extrovert of the world. I am very much the introvert of the world. Um, I, I know. Uh, well, I grew up on a farm. I've already said, talked about that. I actually went to school to be a dietitian. Went to school to be a dietitian because I absolutely love food and cooking and creating recipes, but I got super nerdy about the tech around food and the labs. And just for a while, I had a, a catering company. I ran a blog called, are you ready? Silva Spoons instead of Silver Spoons and just had a great time with it. But then I watched the industry <laughs> shift. I know, Karina, right? It's like... Oh, it's so good. And we had a blast with it, but it, it started to take over our lives and it became too much. And that world changed. And I, I love tech so much and it, and it actually pulled me away from people and teaching and doing the things I love. And they changed the program and I would be like 52 by the time I got my master's in it. And I was done with that. So still love food, still love recipes, still love cooking, but I love this more. Absolutely. And see what, what, what I just shared with Brooke, how could you do that in your social media world, right? Like what's the one passion you have out there? Control, alt, jeep, right? 
<laughs> whatever it is out there that you have, how can you turn that into a conversation starter? Well, it's community, right? I've created a very careful brand around myself and who I am and what I enjoy and I'm passionate about, right? Because guys, nerd, anybody's a nerd. You're all nerds sitting here today, right? What do you love and what are you passionate about? And that's what makes you a nerd about that thing, right? That's, we all have that nerdy thing. It's just whether or not we talk about it. So I have communities around what I do to market what I do. And it goes with my brand, which is excellent. But you know who you're getting when you step into my world, right? There is no, I don't hide anything, you're prepared to deal with me usually, unless you're not caffeinated or awake. <laughs> but, or you're Tiffany. <laughs> oh yeah, wake up, Tiff. But <laughs> it, it took a long time to create that brand and truly dive into the nerd world of who I am so I could share it with you guys so that we open the world of technology up to you guys in a different way. Absolutely. And we were, you know, they keep talking about this shift. I feel like they've been talking about this shift for seven <laughs> years now, right? And some of the things that they've been talking about lately is how do you talk to 15% more people than you did previously? And for some people, that's going to be 15% more than they did because their number was zero. Um, right. And yet, what does that look like, right? And things like this, like asking a great question around what's one thing that no one out there knows about you that you would love to share? Those are just opportunities to have a conversation. And then you may find out that you both like to cook, right? I make chocolate chip cookies. People love them. You know, like I put chocolate chip cookies and I get 500 messages. Right. So, <laughs> who would have thought? So what are those things out there that you do that you can get attention? And when that happens, you start relationships, you start community. And when you throw that occasional real estate statement or that re occasional real estate conversation, they're not horrified by it because that's not your one thing. Well, and I, I've said this so often, if there's newer friends on the call, hi, friends, welcome. But when you close your eyes and you think about your Facebook, I want you to think about your Facebook business page as your brick and mortar. So when people walk into your Facebook brick and mortar, what does it say about you? Another one sold, another one sold, another one under contract, happy people. Ha like, are you saying I'm too busy for you? Or are you saying, hi, welcome to my world. Sit down. Let's have a cup of coffee. Coffee? Right, let's, coffee. Coffee. I've been with Tiffany too much today. Coffee. Right? If we started having communications differently, so we in this shift, it is so important to get back to the basics, right? And it's going to be so important to make your own community. Why in a world where there are hundreds of us in some communities, would somebody pick me over the 13 other agents on the community boards, right? Are you always promoting positive things? Do you have great value ads? If I go to your page, do I get a sense of who you are? Like, I don't need your, your deep secrets out on Facebook, right? Like, please don't, please don't, right? We don't want to like, but if I go to your business Facebook page, do I get to know the real you? And that's why I get so excited about this, this growth call, because you guys are scared to put yourself out there. You're petrified to put yourself out there. You will post every photo of your clients and their dogs and the keys and the, all the things you're doing in your world. But on social media, you're afraid to take that step that you would do if we were a real life brick and mortar business that somebody was walking into. That's where we need to be in the shift because that's what's going to keep customers and clients sticky for life, right? How many of you um, have a checking account? Great. How many of you have a savings account? How many of you have 18 checking accounts at different banks? No, because it's difficult. So if you think about how we bank, relationship banking is a lot like what we do for relationships. You want to keep everything in one place for ease of use, right? We want them to come back to you because you know the best contractors, plumbers, roofers, inspectors, painters. Right. And all the people in the community that are so wonderful. Right. So not only are you 
a checking and savings account, right? You have all the other products your clients need, whether they buy, sell, invest, or refer. Because again, having a client for life, they may not have bought or sold with you, but they could be your biggest cheerleader or advocate and we want to make sure that we are loving on them and bringing items of value that are important to them. You made me think. So, you know, the whole point of this call is how to be more socially involved in the social networks. I joined <laughs> KW in 2013 and I came from another company and we won't talk about the drama of leaving that company and starting over again at KW. And yet I literally had zero database, zero, because that, other company kept it all. So when I came to KW, I literally had to start from scratch. And my first year here, 75% of the business came from the social media activity. And I did a lot of what they, you know, explain, explains here because I am an introvert and I would prefer not to make 500 phone calls in the course of a week, right? And yet I would totally like to have a conversation with somebody who has like kind items with me. So, you know, having a conversation about cookies and then actually calling them up and saying, hey, did you bake a, bake a great batch of cookies is a great way for me to segue into a relationship, right? And then end the call with, hey, besides, you know, besides cookies, I also sell real estate. My goal is to help five families. Who do you know? Like, right? It's a lot easier to do that. And that's how I did it. So 75%, I was a capper my first year here, starting from zero database because I couldn't wow. solicit all my people. It wasn't, you know, it was because of the relationships I built, built over social media. So don't be shy. Like worst case scenario, somebody says something that you don't like, you delete, delete, down, it. You delete the post, right? It's wonderful. It's, it's, it's wonderful. You can't delete a conversation, but you can delete a post. Well, and you really shouldn't delete people in real life. That's you get in trouble <laughs> for those things. The other thing is it makes it so that no call is a cold call. Right. Because if you are queuing the conversation up from social media and they post something and you call them, you get to talk about that. Right. Oh, you mentioned your grandmother's secret recipe for X, Y, Z. Are you willing to give it up? What do I got to do? Right. What do you need from me? Or. If you're having those conversations in Messenger, those two-way conversations, there is no reason you can't say, you know what, this is a lot of back and forth. I think a quick phone call may make it easier. What's the best number I can reach out to you? Are you available right now? Yeah, because or, what's the rule after two back and forth or three back and forth, pick up the phone. Yep. Yep. And that's why I love this call for you guys so much because I... I am the extrovert and the, we know this, like we are, <laughs> we are well aware of what I am and what Tiffany is and it's not always easy for everyone. So we want to give you the copy, paste, click, go set it. Right. I worked with an agent this morning in five minutes. We showed her how to use the growth call content, put it in her command. And in five minutes, and that was me going back and forth and back and forth. Right. We had everything ready to go. And now she doesn't even have to think it's set it and forget it. It's a rotisserie chicken. It's delicious. You have a crock pot. This is crock pot, right? This is so good for your business yeah. and it's going to help you stand out. All right. You made a great segue. It's, it's time. It's, it's time. 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 Oh, it's time. Let's do the Are content. you ready? Are I am ready? so excited for this content. Unfortunately, there are no snort worthy puns in this week. <laughs> I will work on getting those dad jokes and more jokes in for you guys. We already Cassie, have the snorting for the day. Yeah. Good. I love the name of my Jeep. That might be trivia at some point, by the way, just so you know, uh, just so you know. All right. So notice the top right. You've got a new click here to go back up to the top. So that way you're not trying to cut down on your clicks per minute. You're scrolling. Just trying to make things easier for you guys. Four posts this week, starting with is cappuccino day. We all know I love my coffee. We all know how much I love my coffee. Any guesses in the chat on how many I've had today? You put those right in there. But this is also a great way to talk about local places. Shamai for the win. So it's National Cappuccino Day. Perfect day to shop, stop by a local cafe and grab a delightful, frothy cappuccino. What's your favorite place to snag a hot beverage? Right, so this is getting your community involved 
And if you've got a place you go, tag them. Tag that business from your business page because they will never say no to marketing. So don't forget to put your logo on these either. I saw a few Nike ones last week. You got to make sure that your DBA logo for your brokerage is there. And if you have your own logo, put that on as well. But cappuccino day, frothy goodness, hug in a mug. Oh, this one warms my heart for the, for the week. I love this one. David, yes, one, but it was 64 ounces. Truth. <laughs> Truth. Uh, mm, half a gallon. So not an easy thing for me. Don't These things don't matter to me. So I love hearing what people do when they're trying to get a moment of zen. So when you need a moment to get away, where do you go? Where's that special spot that provides you with peace and quiet? Is it somewhere in your community or spot in your home. And what I love about what this post is going to do is it's going to start people talking about, I wish I had that spot in my home. I would love it if my bathroom was like a spa. So Tiffany, if they're wishing they could do upgrades, what might they have in their home? Um, if there was the equity, equity, right. And, and the desire to potentially sell and buy. Right. And sometimes when people find out how much equity they do have or what their house is worth, let me tell you, they're like, peace out, Cub Scout, bye. Let's just sell it. I will find a home with the spa retreat I want. The other thing is it shows off your community. And that's that's what we want to be, right? We say hyper-local expert. What does it mean to be a hyper-local expert? It means you know all the good stuff and where to go. So now you're just building your hit list of, oh, you're looking for a quiet spot in a park? Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you. So love this post. Thanksgiving is right around. Oh my God. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. So it's the epic battle, right? So you put in the chat your favorite, but with Thanksgiving right around the corner, the battle for best flavor pie begins. So which pie will be the star of your holiday dessert table? Because we know we don't have just one. There's like 8,000 desserts. Pumpkin or apple, and of course, bonus points for any recipes you want to share. So put in the chat, are you team pumpkin or are you team apple? I'll tell you, I, <laughs> I've i been lying to my family for years. My What they think is a pumpkin pie has been sweet potato my whole life. I've been making sweet potato pie and passing it off as pumpkin for ages. That's right, Andrew. Sweet potato is way better. It's orange. They get faked out. It's the easiest thing. They just assume because I put a little cutout of pie crust that's a pumpkin on it, some little leaves, make it cute. <laughs> pumpkin, a lot of pumpkin. No apples? Wow. I'm surprised. That's usually a heated debate. All right. No, that wasn't on the choice. That no, 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 no. Now you're going, you're being crazy here. It was apple or pumpkin. It was apple or pumpkin. Don't go crazy here. All right. Last one. So guys, three different images for you today. So uh, the 11th, the region is Cassie, are we closed on the 11th? Are we? Yes. So you will not see these beautiful faces on the 11th, but wanted to give you some different images that may call to you a little different. If you are in designs and you go to holidays by month, they have a bunch of these for you. So the two on the bottom are actually from our designs library. And the top one is one I got for you guys. So today we celebrate our veterans, including many of our own here at KW New England who served. Thank you for your service. And this is also a great time to call out those in your life, or if you've served, right? Tag them in the post after go into the comments and say, thank you to my dad for your service, right? In the Navy or my uncles and my aunts and all the people who served and to those in the market center that, you know, have served. So three images to choose from same, um, caption though, you guys get to pick which one you want. And there are your posts for this week. Cassie, what do we have for a giveaway today? 
This week we have another first time home buyers book. They seem to be very popular. Last I week, love it. A couple of our winners had choices and they both went with the first time home buyers book. The great thing is you can read it, you can use it as a resource. It's great to know it's in there, but you can also gift it to um, any special first time home buyer clients you have. So it's really that. special. Um, and it's the new edition. So we're going to give another one of those away. And then next week, I think we may have something special to give away. So join in again next week to see what we're giving away. We're going to be switching it up a little bit. Love it. And our winner today is out of our Andover Market Center. Ooh. And it is Heidi. Heidi, are you here? Oh, I see Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Hello, hello. I'm going to un- ask you to unmute and talk to us for a minute. Okay. Well, hello. Hi, Congratulations. Congratulations. Wow, that's unexpected. I was just thinking I should order one. <laughs> that's perfect. We'll get it to you this week. Not a problem. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, stay tuned because now from now until three o'clock, we are going to do growth call in action where we are digging into tech that matters and things that are going to propel your business forward. Small things, little things, easy things to just make your life a little better. So congratulations to Heidi. Stay on with us. We're going to stop the recording and then we'll pick it right back up in a minute. And the resources.